about five, six years ago, um, I had a, um, an undocumented Asian American student. The student's experience was painful for uh, much of her life, and she would have qualified for DACA um, if that had been implemented at that time. And then fast forward just recently what we've been hearing about with undocumented immigrants and really the voices and the images that we see are mostly of people of Latino descent. But the fact is yeah. there are about one and a half million undocumented Asian immigrants in America. Mm -hmm. And that in, in, in LA alone, 20% of Korean immigrants are undocumented. If you just use your imagination now to think about the impact this has on anybody who's undocumented, regardless of their ethnic racial background, access to healthcare, living in the shadows, living in fear, mm -hmm. shame, and, and just thinking physiologically, the stress hormones constantly pumping through their bodies because they don't know when, mm -hmm. right? It's not a matter of if, but it's in their minds a matter of when. But on top of that, the pain that this has caused between ethnic groups, because a lot of people who in the last six months have been protesting, who have been activating their voices to be heard, that the Asian immigrants aren't among them. Mm -hmm. So here are Latino immigrants who are undocumented saying, if they have a problem, if they're gonna stay silent, then that's their problem. Mm -hmm. And it becomes an us them between groups of people who at a time like this should have greater solidarity. Mm -hmm. But here's the piece that I think relates to the church. My good friend and colleague, Dr. Lisa Rojas Flores, she's done a lot of research on working with children um, of undocumented parents who have been deported or at the threat of deportation. She found that really the only place, the few places that families felt safe to go to for these interviews were churches. Whether or not they were practicing Christians they felt like the church was a place that was safe for them to be able to tell their story of fear, of anxiety. Wherever you stand on, whatever position you land on, on politically, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to um, promote a particular position except the position of having compassion and humility and love for people who are suffering. Um, and I think the church has the potential to be uh, a, a place of healing if we're willing to take up that task.